Hello, I am Ferris Pilots, and you are watching another episode of Sturgeon's Gameplay, where we play the newest game in the newly added game section. Today we're going to be playing After the Jump by New... Oh god, this looks really freaky and I don't want to play it at all. Seizure and motion sickness warning contains disturbing content and loud noises. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> Made with Unity Professional, uh, Personal Edition, that's something to, to live is to suffer to survive. This is some low resolution quotes from Nietzsche, 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 Nietzsche. Uh, I prefer his quote, God is dead. Noob Games presents After the Jump. Does it really need to be this low of a resolution? Like, I feel like I'm squinting and looking at something that's really far away and that's being brought closer to my face. Um, okay. I see that somebody has discovered the noise effect in you an image effect in Unity as well as the tilt shift effect. Um, as nice as that is. All this heavy breathing is all, always also excellent. Now let's keep on going forward. It's just like really staticky noise. I, I, I don't know. It sounds like it's made with BFXR except... Can I move my mouse? Oh, I can. Interesting. And you can also jump. Who is this guy? I'm afraid to touch him because I feel like, first of all, he has this like weird line next to him. But more importantly, he's just like a two-dimensional thing. He's not actually a 3D object. Uh, if I go through him, will I like die? No. Okay, for a second there, I was like, D am I on the HBO opening screen for their for their television shows? Perhaps, because the amount of static is the same. Um, will I die if I fall down here? Possibly. I I guess there's no... I can just walk up that? That didn't look like I could walk up it. Let me try it. Let me try this again. No, I can walk... Yeah, I can just walk up stuff. That's pretty cool. I wonder if this game uses a custom-made character controller or if it just uses, like, rigid body physics. Anyways, let's, let's go down. Down! I say. Okay. Jump across! The jumping noise is actually very, very, like, odd and not the same as, like, the rest of the noises. Listen to it. Right? It's it's weird. Anyways, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just going to fall down to my death here and see what happens. Hey, it's corporate guys. What's up, buddy? I, I don't know what this is meant to be. The heavy breathing is really creepy. And also, you, look, you can totally see the white line at the edge of the sprite, man. You need to fix that shit. Just adding a lot of freaking... Uh, adding a lot of... Uh, a lot of noise isn't gonna fix that. Also, the noise image effect, I don't know if that's gonna screw up my recording or anything. Because I, I feel like image effects are really, really uh, intensive on your GPU? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, okay? Oh my goodness. And he added a shitload of motion blur as well. This is gonna make a lot of people sick. And it's causing me to like, get frame drops on my computer, which is redonkulous. Honestly. If Wolfenstein The New Order does, doesn't have frame drops when I'm walking around on barely on a level that's like pretty much empty, your game should not either. If I downloaded it from Game Jolt, <laughs> like <laughs> like in, in, in less than a minute. Um, also, I don't know if it's actually frame drops or it's just like the noise effect. Also, I'm sorry if, if those of you have motion sickness. That's probably aggravating. That's it's kind of my fault. Hey, it's a smiley face. Anyways, let's just keep on going. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I'm just going to walk towards the smiley face. I'm guessing it's another sprite as well. At least this one doesn't have that white line off at the side. So that's okay. And the motion blur, I think, is uh, mostly gone. So that's good for us. Um, seriously, though, like the noise filter. Come on, buddy. I, I understand you're going for a unique aesthetic, but you need to be a little bit more... You need to put in a little bit more effort than just adding a filter to it, you know? Anyways, uh, hey, this is a pretty cool looking level. I can see that uh, you messed around with terrain in Unity. That's that's nice. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I can walk on this one. You learned what a mesh is, huh? Pretty cool. Uh, what have I done? Am I clipping through the geometry? I have no idea what's going on right now. I, I, am, I am very, very lost at the moment. Uh, what if I just go off to the side? Uh, no, this is probably going to be a huge ass terrain. I can't, uh, I can't just, I can't just, uh, 
I was gonna say I'm just gonna fall I'll fall over it, but I, I can't do that because it's gonna be super long. Okay, I I think I've I think I've like I think I've put myself into a situation where it may be impossible for me to win. Um Okay, yeah, I definitely have done this. So that was after the jump. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.